hello friends now we will discuss about the ipv6 header right ha huh. ipv6 is sometimes called iping matlab means sometimes called ipng that is next generation ip next generation ip next generation right now we will discuss about ipv6 header in ipv6 header first we will discuss about version this is four bit length and it indicates what type of version it is since we are the transition from ipv4 to ipv6 both the software are still existing in case of at 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 router right some of the routers having only ipv6 software and some of them having ipv4 or some of the some of the router having both ipv4 ipv6 software right so moreover when you get a packet see here this router it may be it, it in case of this router r1 it may have our ipv4 software or ipv6 software right so when the router get a packet depending on the type of packet type of packet it supposed to send to the appropriate so means if it is receiving ipv4 packet then it receives ipv4 packet then depending on the next router if it is depending it is ipv that means if it if this network supported ipv4 then it will send ipv4 packet to this then it will receive and it will forward to this destination right and uh, ipv6 means what it's it's version version means what version 6 version 6 it is a four bit field four bit field field means this value is 0 1 1 0 if this value is present in a version field this version field then it indicates it is a ipv6 packet if 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 this value 0 1 0 is present in in version then it is ipv4 packet got it now we will move to the next field that is called priority or traffic classes why it is called so it is initially called as traffic classes in ipv6 then why it is called priority now in ipv4 this traffic class is doing same thing what the priority was doing in ipv4 get it got it that means this traffic class is did this traffic class in ipv6 is doing same thing what the priority was doing in ipv4 that means there is a field called priority that is present in ipv4 packet whatever the functionality that priority field provide in case of ipv4 this traffic class provide the same functionality in case of ipv6 got it next is flow level okay let us flow level is little bit type means it is i will discuss it we'll discuss it later on next we we'll go to payload length it is a 16 bit field right in ipv4 there is a field called total length so the reason why it is used means why the total length is used in case of ipv4 in ipv4 as the header size in between in ipv4 the header size in between 20 by 260 means if this is ip header this is data this ip header this ip header this ip header varying from 20 by 260 by right so in we need to know the total length we know to, this is called total length this this total this is total length so we need to know the total length so that we can calculate at the receiver side we can calculate the this this data 
this data right how can you if you know the total this mean is total length if you subtract this header length means this suppose this total length is 100 bytes and this IP header suppose 20 bytes then how what is the value of the data means how many bytes of data that is 100 total length is 100 minus 20 this data will be 80 bytes right since the IP address is varying in between 20 byte to 60 byte so we need to know the total length value but in case of IPv6 in case of IPv6 the header size is fixed that is 40 bytes how it is 40 bytes see here see here see this is 4 bit this is 8 bit this is 20 bits this is 20 plus 8 28 plus 4 32 bit 32 bit means what 4 byte right now see here again this is payload 16 byte 16 bit next other 8 bit hope limit 8 bit this is also 8 plus 16 16 32 this is also 4 byte 32 bit means 4 byte so so the since in case of ipv6 the address is 128 bit but in case of ipv4 it is 32 bit but here since the addresses are 128 bit so this is 16 byte this is also 16 byte so how many bytes total 4 plus 4 8 plus 16 24 plus 6 40 bytes so total 40 bytes since <coughs> The header length is fixed. So at the receiver end, the receiver already know the header length is already 40 bytes. It is fixed. It, it will not change. It is fixed. So there is no need of total length in this case. So there is, but in IPv4, there is a need of total length because IPv4 is the header length is varying 20 byte to 60 byte but in case of ipv6 there is no need to have there is no need to um, have that total length right next is this is called payload length next we will discuss is next header what is next header now in ipv4 we in if you have to first go through the IPv4 packet, right? IPv4 packet. That means so that you can get an idea about IPv4 packet. That means in IPv4 we use option, but in IPv6 we don't have options. Instead of options, they introduce a concept called extension header. This extension header. That means in IPv4 there is options but in case of IPv6 we have means it is introduced as uh, extension header so after the base header there can be any number of after the base header this base header there can be any number of extension header there can be any number of extension continue like this it can be it can be any number of extension header. it can be any number of extension header right inside Inside the IP packet, there can be a TCP packet. This field says that this means then inside the IP packet, this is this is IP packet. This is the IP packet. This is the IP packet, right? Now inside this IP packet, this is TCP. We can say that this is TCP packet. This is TCP packet. This is TCP packet. This is IP This is IP header. Right? This is IP header. So inside the IP packet there can be see why this is because the upper upper layer means transport layer sends this TCP packet and that I network layer network layer will cover off this TCP packet. To form this IP datagram, right? Now this next header field says that what type of extension header is immediately following this base header? 
that is it is going to talk about what type of header is this first type es1 didn't get it means that this field says that this means this field says that the type of extension header is immediately following this base header means this in this next header this extension header, this extension header immediately following this next header right the next header of this extension header will show the next header here and the next header of this also showing this this next header of this extension header will give to this extension header 3 right any doubt that means this next header field will give what type of the next header is what type of ex next header is like here you can say that here for example I can just imagine that this this IP header next header just imagine this next header signals the type of the type of packet inside here means this next header shows the what type of this packet is it is a TC packet are you getting one similarly this next header showing that the type of packet the type of extension header the type of extension header right another is we have hop limit hop limit hop limit right in IP before it is called TTL time to leave but in case of IPv6 we use that hop limit right this is also a 8 bit field TTL is not actually time it is actually the number of hops that a packet can take before getting discarded TTL is not actually time did not are you getting my point that means TTL is not actually time it is actually the number of hops number of hops that a packet can take before getting discarded suppose for example here here source destination if I set TTL value equal to 2 that means number of hops number of hops means here one hops here one hops right when it source this detail is to set set means the source sets to detail value is 2 when it reaches router r1 the detail value is decremented to this detail value is decremented by 1 when it reaches at r2 this detail value becomes 0 so here the packet the packet is discarded here the packet is discarded so instead of forwarding the packet to destination the packet here itself it is discarded so <coughs> similarly hop limit is doing same thing in case of IV physics right so we'll discuss next class